Hey, welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for my beautiful tribe of Gemini. Yes, honey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New subscribers, welcome returning. Love family, welcome. Cross watchers, everyone here is always welcome. I want to thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your donations. Those of you guys that have booked readings, thank you so very much. I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. And I also want to say thank you to my Gemini family. Like, you guys are the best. Like, so loving. I see the comments that, you know, when we're struggling, you guys, you know, give each other encouragement and uplift one another. I've seen that several times, and it's just such a loving group and a comfort to know that there's still love in the world out of all this hate and animosity. Like, you know what I mean? We're, we're a tribe, you guys. I'm proud of you guys. Good job, Gemini. Good job, you guys. So this is a general message. It's not going to uh, generate. It's not going to resonate with every single person that listens to this message. So just take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. So are you guys ready to get in our song? Come on, choir. Come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, go. Gemini, 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 Gemini. I say Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, uh huh. Gemini, 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 Gemini. All right, choir, give the choir a hand, y'all. Give the choir a hand. So I don't know what this reading gonna be about because you already know it's whatever spirit has for us. That's why I like this channel. It doesn't have a particular, you know, way, but we are here to learn, grow, and evolve. So no matter what messages come out, whether they be kind of heavy, deep. Or just, you know, spiritual messages from our ancestors. You know, we're grateful for those messages. And just like I said, take the messages and leave the rest. And you guys can always learn from someone else's story, okay? And be grateful and, and give some gratitude and appreciate, uh, appreciation to divine, okay? So it's like, with this shit again? Yeah, sometimes it is this shit again. I mean, as the reader, how do you think I feel, guys? Okay. So we got to be obedient, though. So, yeah. Anyways, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Ooh. Ooh, wedding, wedding. It says this situation involves marriage. Okay, let me pull another card because I'm getting other, all kind of energies already, y'all. Getting to know each other. Okay, this is new. Okay, this goes to the last reading or the reading before last. See, you never know what you, on this channel, on this channel right here, it's like Forrest Gump. It's like life's a box of chocolates because you never know what you're going to get. Okay? You never know what you're going to get. You might be getting some STD with crusty, woundy, thirsty, sleepy. You might get some stalker energy. I don't know. But then you're going to get some love energy. You're going to get some messages for the angels. It is what it is, right? But anyway, you got to get to know each other. So in this, 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 okay. You guys have, okay, this is a new boo. Whether he rich, old, poor, whoever, he knew, him knew. As you reveal your most inner selves to each other, your bond deepens. I love that. And this situation calls, involves a marriage, you guys. Oh, Gemini. I'm so happy for you guys. It's been a long journey, right? See how the celibacy does work. Because <laughs> you guys are vibrating high. You have no energy ties or connections to go into if those of you are not married. For others of you, you guys are getting remarried, okay? You're getting to know each other all over again in this relationship because, you know, you probably didn't get know each other when you first met, you know what I mean? It was more um, sex-based, but now it's a time where you guys are really, some of you are renewing your vows, getting to know each other all over again. It's going to be so, oh my God, I want to be invited. If you guys are... Getting married, I want to invite, invite T-Girl. I'll sing that, I'll sing at your, <laughs> I'll sing at your wedding. <laughs> but anyway, this is a retreat. So it says it's time to disconnect from the world. So you guys are going to be disconnecting to the world. I'm picking up honeymoon. Look at you guys, how you're walking through. It's going to be a beautiful, enchanted place. So if you guys get remarried, this marriage, oh my God. But I'm going to tell you right now, your husband or whoever this man is, girl, he little scurred. Look how he looking. And she like, mm-hmm, yeah, I got you now, nigga. So some of y'all trying to track this man. But at the end of the day, it's really love. Because I'm not getting that information. I feel like you're just really happy. And you can't believe 
you're just looking at him like, oh my God, I can't believe this man is sitting right here, the man of my dreams, everything that I ever, 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 ever wanted. And then he like, oh my God, am I doing the right thing? So that's why it's important to get to know each other because this relationship involves a marriage commitment. So you want to get to know your partner, okay? Don't just go off on the outside of lust and looks. Get to intimately know your partner and it's going to cause you, it's going to, it's going to, um, take for you guys to take some retreating time, like retreating. I make, I make up my own words, y'all. But y'all know what the hell I be meaning, shit. Um, retreat, y'all. Y'all gonna have to retreat and disconnect from the world in order for you guys to know each other. You know, family, friends, you know, work, whatever, because people are in your business. Yeah, this is gonna be. Oh my god, this is. Oh, I, my heart chakra is on fire right now with my solar plex and my sacral. It's all beating and pulsating for you guys. That's funny, right? But you guys be playful. It's time to recapture romance and allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then, oh, 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 attraction. You guys are attracted to each other. So like I said in the last reading, it's going to, this is, it's going to be a tower. This is a tower, okay? Because you're getting to know each other. So you're not going to, you don't know who this person, you don't know who him is yet. If he is in your energy or she is in your energy. You guys are very attracted to each other. It says you enjoy, I mean, excuse me, you attract romantic love by enjoying its moment fully. So you guys are in your, you guys are actually in love with yourselves and not in an arrogant, egotistical way. You're just, you, I'm, it's self-love. You guys are taking the time out to pamper yourselves, nourish yourselves, love yourselves, take time to smell the flowers and really get into the essence of life, okay? A lot of you guys are really, really playful, okay? You and your partner are going to be very, very playful. Two kids at heart, okay? Just loving. You're going to just be clinging up. Not When I say cling, don't get it like a codependency cling. I mean like a cling like... You're never going to let this person go. Like, you've met the one, and you're going to treat them so good. Like, this person's a blessing to you. So you're going to have to give your relationship a chance. Because I know I said in the last couple of readings that this person could be famous. Not for all of you, but even if it's not famous or you just are, you know, regular whoever. Just give your relationship a chance. Because, like I said, you guys have been through a lot because of all the deception. Okay? Um, you're afraid that this person's wearing a false mask and you don't want to repeat the same mistakes that you have been continuously repeating in the previous, um, cycles. So no, you guys have closed out those cycles. You guys are moving forward. And like I said before, this situation calls, uh, involves marriage and your love life ascends to a higher level of commitment. So there is engagement involved in this Jimmy Nye. Gemini, I'm so proud of y'all asses. I don't even know what to do. I'm such like a proud mother. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me have my sips. Because the sister did work today. I mean, is it work, though? But, I mean, it's not work, you know, but it is work. I worked hard today. And I need a, a glass of wine to relax. Then I wanted to get to my Gemini's and do y'all's readings and stuff and get them on out. So, ancestors, Holy Spirit, send them out. Oh, wait a minute. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning from divine, and you're going to get some type of uh, communication. I'm picking, uh, oh my God, they're picking up this energy from the other readings. This is, this is the same energy, Gemini, that's in your energy. It's your new boo, okay? They're going to communicate with you, okay? You don't have to do anything, empresses, but just sit back and watch God move, okay? All right, Gemini, let's get into it more. So those are beautiful angel messages. And that's like I said, and I'm not going to repeat it. Now, when I say low vibration, I'm not talking shit about you guys or whatever. I'm describing the energies because a lot of low vibrational family members, as far as my Gemini family, some of them, you know, we just come into the journey, whatever. Everybody's on different levels. And vi low vibration just means not you're a bad person. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. It just means the way that you move energetically does not align up to divine is why you're not satisfied I can just put it that way okay godly cleanliness is next to godliness and so you got to clean up your energy you got to clean up your act and you got to move how god moves and so you can receive these blessings and these divine unbelievable beautiful counterparts okay because a lot of times you know just because somebody getting rent married don't be mad girl homegirl let your homegirl get married because sometimes look years later they ass is divorced okay that all was a facade it was a fake 
ass relationship because they just were going off of lust. They didn't get a chance to know each other and nor did they retreat to disconnect from the world. Um, you know, so it's anyway, let me just get on into this. So angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, tell us more about this new love Gemini's got coming in. Tell us about him, her, what's going on. Oh, 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 Gemini, you got the lovers in the last one. It made me emotional and almost tear up for you. Uh, so, this is the soulmate, instant soulmate connection, regardless of what it is. And then we have the King of Wands in reverse. Now, that could mean, uh, now the King of Wands in reverse could be, you know, I mean, I like, Explain the King of Wands in reverse before I go say anything, okay, angels? Because the King of Wands in reverse is a lot of times. What? What's the Five of Swords? This new love um, is a soulmate connection. Now, with the King of Swords, I mean, the King of Wands in reverse, okay, they're trying to figure out how to come forward and make an offer to you, Okay. Yeah, that's a secret that you don't know because, like I said, you don't even know this person. So the King of Wands in reverse, you know, either way, the King of Wands is a Casanova. You know, he got many concubines and all that stuff, but he's in reverse. Now, this person's not taking action right now because they're trying to plot and strategize. Wait, how that to y'all? So because they're trying to plot and trap it, plot and strategize how to offer you this cup. I'm not picking up fish cup, but this is a small offer. It could be a Scorpio. It could be an air sign. It could be a, uh, I was going to say a wand sign, a fire sign. So this king of wands is not taking action yet. Okay. You don't know who this person is. They're trying to plot, plot, plan, and strategize how to give you this offer. Now this person, your person could be a little bit of petty. Okay. Now the thing is, is Angels, why is deception and five of swords here before I say what I say? Mm, what is the four of swords, angels? What is the four of swords? The emperor. And then we have the fool. Mm, because of the deception, I'm picking up that... This person does wear many face. They're not going to come for straight. For okay. Okay. That makes sense. Who is this person before I say what I say? Like, like, tell me what I need to know before I need to say what I need to say. Angels, like, who is this person as far as why they're trying to plot, plan, and strategize? Like, there's something about this person why they, they trying to reveal, they're trying to hide who they are before they come out forward to who you are before they make this offer. Who is this deception? Who is this person? Because I'm not getting a bad deception. I'm just picking up, like, th you don't, this person's wearing a mask. So they may reach out to you not as who they are, as under somebody else is what I'm saying. But why would they do that, angels? Oh, because in my last readings, this person is um well-known in the spotlight somewhere. Okay? So they don't want to, they don't, what the hell is that? Fell out underneath the bottom of the shit. Oh, in reverse. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? But there's not going to be a heavy burden in this. This, birth, this relationship is going to be very playful, very fun, very light. There's not going to be no burdens. Okay, tell me the Ace of Wands in reverse. What is that? Because I don't think... What I'm getting from the Ace of Wands in reverse, because it's the male phallic. You guys may not be having a lot of sex, possibly. Why are they having a lot of sex, angels? And then also, they're not in it just for the sex. They really want a relationship. So, okay, you guys are going to have a lot of sex. Okay? You guys are going to be passionate, have a whole bunch of sex. This is going to be easy, breezy relationship because you guys are both vibrating on the same level. This is a real soulmate connection with the lovers. Um, and it's going to be a high-level relationship with the four of wands, the lovers. Yes, honey. So, it's going to start off small. Your person's trying to... Plot, plan, and strategize how to come to you because, yeah, and you're gonna. This is a ten of pentacles situation, so it involves marriage. It involves, yeah, you're gonna be the queen of pentacles, yeah, because you're nine, you're here already, you're here, you're here. But, honey, wait, oh, damn, Jaina, 
So you got a fight on your hand. Well, you don't have a fight on your hands, Gemini. Oh, and the high pre Oh, you know it, Gemini. You know, you know, you know that this motherfucker, y'all gonna get married. He's an emperor. Whoever this is, it could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be. It could be a fire sign, but this is Aries, the emperor, that's gonna take a leap of faith on you in this relationship. Yeah, and whatever is going on in your whatever world, that motherfucking emperor is gonna lay everything to motherfucking rest. They are gonna speak their truth. They are gonna lay down all their little concubines and not be all fast and furious with their fucking wand and shit. Okay, so this is what that means. This motherfucker is going to lay down all his burdens and his fucking options as far as fucking everybody. So he can get into, or she can get into a fucking four of wands situation with you. However, woundy, crusty, sleepy, raggedy, thirsty, toxic did try to come through. Okay, so soon as you're leaving and riding off into the sunset into your relationship and being happy and fulfilled with your new boo... Child, woundy, crusty, sleepy, thirsty, don't want to show up and speak some type of truth to you, Gemini. Even though this is you, but this I'm picking up, this is another air sign. This is that raggedy air sign that keeps showing up in your reading, Gemini. This toxic woundy, okay? This motherfucking devil-like energy that has all kind of addictions and afflictions. This person's a liar. They're a con-con. They're not to be trusted. You were attracted to this person as a, at a point in time, but this person is literally attracted to you, they are very obsessed with you, Gemini. And they, the King of Swords, is going to try to plot, plan, and strategize. And he's going to put on a mask of deception to try to offer you this four of wands situation. And this is a false offer because look at this, there's a fish cup inside. Okay, but it's going to be all in his emotions. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Gemini. I didn't mean to drop the cord. But he's going to be all in his emotions and shit. Trying to act like, I really, really love you. Please marry me. But it's nothing but the devil and his lies. Like Rick Ross, the devil is a lie. And he's going to be in the Eight of Swords. You know, because, well, he's not going to be. This motherfucker is in the Eight of Swords. Because you're the Queen of Pentacles. You got a bomb-ass, solid motherfucking offer. Okay? At, with possibly a water sign. Yeah, you about to get me to a water sign or a fucking fire sign, Gemini. But this motherfucker, woundy, crusty, thirsty, sleepy, is all in their head and feeling all in trap. Like, they need to come in between to stop this fucking debauchery in their mind that they think. Because they holding on to you for dear life. Yes, I told you it was an air sign, Gemini. Here you come up. So you manifesting, you manifesting that motherfucker away. But this motherfucker, woundy, is trying to manifest you back, honey. Because they have nostalgic feelings and memories about you. They can't let you go. They like, oh my god. Gemini is leaving, you know, like I said in the last one, misery loves some company, honey, yeah, but you know this already, and they already know that you done cut their ass out, okay, and you don't want shit to do with them, you done laid it to rest, Gemini, okay, because you're about to get married to, you're about to take a leap of faith with your emperor to have this new passionate beginning, yes, and so for that, this motherfucker is feeling all imbalanced and shit, so now they want to come Flying all fast to you and shit. Could cuss you out, possibly. I don't know. Ooh, Gemini, that was a lot. But anyway, this motherfucker, see, you was a star. Oh, yeah, you the empress in the star done pulled up. Pulled up. You done pulled up, bitch. Bitches and dudettes. And I mean bitches in the most respectful way. So you're in the, like, you're in the public eye. You're, like, they're mad that this empress is about to marry a star at the end of the day. That's what it, that's what it bottom lines down to it and then you the empress is this star this empress makes shit grow she's healing she's nurturing she's spiritual she's uh she's just everything you know look you see all these cars shining 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 yeah gemini's winning and cross high vibe cross watcher whoever's in this energy you're winning right now okay a lot of you are you know pregnant with your new congratulations with your baby oh and then some of you are going to get pregnant with this new man or woman whoever you get with they are nurturing they're healing they are meant here to birth your babies <laughs> and if not i mean yeah look at if not then yeah but um so yeah tell us more about this whole situation why is Woundy and Krusty not gonna win at the end of the day because like you're saying your emperor is the emperor and the emperor shuts shit down he don't Look how he look, look at his look on his head. He is not, I mean, his face. He ain't playing no motherfucking games. Okay? And you ain't either. Both of y'all come, come come back together, honey. Where, where are you at? Where is you and your man? 
You and your booski is not playing, okay? You is unbothered. He is unbothered, but he gonna shut shit down, pretty much. Gemini, I'm so happy. So what's gonna be the outcome with Woundy Crusty? How is, you know, Gemini gonna move forward? Like, what is, what is, what is this, angels? Child, Gemini, are you gonna work on your relationship, invest in your relationship and block Woundy? You see, Woundy done showed up with the wands. You're gonna block Woundy. And you're going to invest in your pentacali with your pentacles because you're the queen of pentacles with your emperor. And you guys are building, you guys are building, build, build, busy building empires, okay? Businesses, sis, 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 okay? Growing, evolving together, the happily ever after. And I don't like to like say happily ever after, but for those of you who have done the work, divine really is blessing you with a happily ever after. I'm just saying. You know, those of you that have not done the work, you're going to have to continue to work on yourself, okay? And you're going to have to continue to block out things, places, and people that don't serve your highest good and interest. You're going to have to block out people, okay, from your past because if, you're not, if you haven't evolved thus far up until the date of this day, then you need to start blocking motherfuckers out and cleaning up your energy, okay? You need to start speaking your truth and, like I said, then you'll receive some type of justice, Give me another card so I can read for Gemini. Yeah, you're going to get a payout, okay? You're going to get a payout. And I don't want to read Crusty's energy because they, you know, they, they see you as a payout. They want equal give and take. They want balance. They see you as the earth angel. Anyway, it's working out for you, Gemini. I'm going to end the reading right there. I'm going to go into another reading for y'all, okay? But, yeah, you guys have got it going on. Like Donkey Kong, Gemini. Congratulations once again. So this is confirmation again. So half of you are doing the work and half of you are not. So probably the next reading probably going to end up crazy, Gemini. I don't know. We'll see. Talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.